Hi and welcome to this technical walkthrough of Alt Piano. I uh, hope you get a lot out of this. Uh, we'll basically take you through all the controls and, and some of the sounds and the presets that we've got uh, because there's a lot to go through. So Alt Piano is basically uh, when we did our infamous upright felt piano that you've probably all downloaded and been using in your own work, hopefully. Uh, we also recorded the whole piano without felt as well, so just the standard bright natural sound of the piano and it is a really bright piano. It's an old one, I don't think the felts have ever been replaced on the hammers, uh, so it sounds like very hard, very lively uh, piano. And we were like, well, what do we do with this? You know, we need to just do something then just, you know, give you another piano. So this is what we've come up with. It's, uh, there's some really unique and interesting controls in here, stuff that you won't have seen before on another piano. Uh, so let's get into it. So the, the biggest thing really is, is the difference between the natural and the felted uh, uh, piano samples and then also this texture control here. Uh, so the natural sound is, is nice, bright and lively. And then if we take it all the way to felted. But we decided, why, why don't we just make a control that allows you to blend between the two? So it's almost like, you know, a, a control that allows you to add, add how much felt that you want. Uh, so this is kind of like natural with a little bit of felt introduced. And then my favorite is kind of like uh, full felt with just a little bit of the natural signal introduced as well. So it just starts to cut through the mix a little bit nicer. And this is mapped to the mod wheel. So like you've seen on our, uh, heard on our uh, demo track on the video, uh, you can blend between these two as you're playing if you want to. So. So if you can use that for an effect or you can just use it to set it and, and you know, just play the piano that way. So. That for me uh, is is absolutely brilliant control to change the tone of the piano without like EQ or anything else. It's like you can't achieve that, you know, anywhere else apart from using that control. Then we've like, well, we need to do something else with this. We're not just going to release a piano that's just got standard piano sounds in it. So we recorded the whole piano, resampled, re-recorded the whole piano with three different uh you know, what we're calling these texture layers. Uh, and the first one, I'll what I'll do is I'll play them. Uh, you know, without the piano sound, so you can just hear the texture layers on their own. So the first one is air, which is, they're, they're kind of ordered in a way that like air is like more uh, like a trebly sound, grain is like a middly sound, and then uh, earth, which you'll hear in a minute, is like really deep, rich and bassy. But air is kind of like uh, granular, granular manipulation, reverse reverbs, just some weird, you know, a weird plug-in chain that we've come up with to create this. It's all about that tail for me. When I'll I'll play it in a minute with some of the piano sounds, you know, as well as that. And it's kind of like the piano, the natural reverb of the piano dies out, the decay of the piano dies out, and then you hear this tail of the air uh, coming in, and it's just like, yeah, it's just a really nice texture to use. Uh, grain was like one of the hardest things we've ever done, which is recorded it through a a, a tape deck basically because the tape deck was so temperamental. It's a Sony TC121 from 50, 60 years ago. Only RCA sockets. It's noisy. It, uh, it's now broken. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, the rewind control didn't work when we bought it. So we were there just like flipping a tape out. Just a nightmare to do, but it sounds absolutely brilliant. The, 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 like the kind of like the natural undulations and, and uh, wow in this uh, signal is really, a little bit unnerving at times, but just, it's just interesting to listen to. It's 
So we've left a tiny bit of the noise of the signal in. I mean, the tape decks are noisy. This one was really noisy. And we took most of it out, but when we took it all out, it started to sound just a bit boring. So we've added a little bit back in just to give it that like grainy uh, texture to it. Uh, and that it almost sounds like a bit like a synth, kind of like an 80s synth, but I think like blended in with a piano, it sounds brilliant. And then Earth, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time, uh, we basically took all of the piano samples, uh, we put them through a reel-to-reel -reel tape uh, machine, and then played that tape back at half speed. So you're getting samples that are a full octave lower uh, than the piano uh, you know, normally sounds. So this sounds really, really deep. Sustain on that earth layer is absolutely like insane. It just keeps on going forever. These aren't looped. We didn't want it to feel like a synth and it's just like a pad that loops underneath the piano sound. We still wanted it to sound like it was like the piano almost. Uh, so that's what those uh, texture layers are all about. Really, really pleased with them. Pleased at how different they sound, but they all, because they're made from the piano, they all still sound like they're part of the piano. So really, really pleased with those. So what I'm going to do next is just talk through some of the presets that we've got because that will kind of like give you an overview of, of how different this piano can sound. And then I'll just talk through some of the specific controls and, you know, tell you exactly what you, those do. So that's just the, the default uh, that we uh, load up with. You've got these standard pianos, which are just like felt and natural piano. So if you just wanted to get to those really quickly, uh, they're in that list. Uh, I guess we'll go through these texture blends next which are, we've set these up, spent a long time just dialing in the microphone mixers and some of the other controls to, you know, give you the, 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 the best sound. So if we go through some of these to begin with, so natural and grain. just hear that tape sort of like fluctuation underneath really really good uh, and then let's go to let's uh, air and subtle felt this is kind of like quite delicate one so it's like the piano dies down and then the natural tail of that air signal sort of like comes in so it sort of like dips down and then comes back up Really, really good, that one. Uh, and then let's go through like a natural and earth. This is a good one. Let's turn up that earth layer so you can hear it a little bit more. Do one more before we move on. So, what haven't we done yet? Uh, let's go uh, natural and air. do some of these uh, special. So you've got Westwood uh, mixes as well, which is kind of like they're standard pianos, but they're just like mixed uh, how we like them. So this is the one that uh, I did, which is like the, the best for me anyway. These are personal. So like this is this is my attempt at what the, the felt piano should sound like. really good it just sounds like you know to, to be able to get from 
some of these deep synth like textures to then just a piano that sounds like it's been sat in you know the bottom of a church for 10 years like for me is just that's the the power of this uh, thing uh, then we've got some of these uh, specials, delayed departures, like a bright uh, delay sort of sound. So uh, Tom Shower, so uh, those of you that know, uh, you know, Tom Waits will know that a lot of his records are recorded in his bathroom just because he likes the acoustics in there and it sounds like, you know, it's a sound that you can't get anywhere else. So this is our attempt at recreating some of the stuff that he's done. We've got some of the other controls kind of like jacked up so you can, you know, it's, it's pushing towards uh, that, that sort of mood. Let's do a glitch in the script. This is this is pretty cool. So to get from that, to get from like, you know, Tom Waits' piano in his bathroom to that in, in two clicks is is pretty cool in my eyes. Uh, let's just do one more and then move on. So uh, as real as it gets is this is when we were making the piano is kind of like, you know, what we really wanted to do with it is to make a piano that just sounds like you're playing it and it's in front of you. So I'll go through the controls that we use to make this in a minute, but this is what this sounds like. Really good. But you've got, there's, there's 30 presets there, snapshots that we've included to kind of like get you started uh, and all of this stuff. So let's just get back to a default piano and then we'll go through some of these controls specifically to show you exactly what they're doing. So felt control and texture control we've already gone through. Uh, let's go through this uh, trans pitch control first because this is quite an interesting one. So this is something I do quite a lot on uh, on instruments and like strings, brass, percussion, all those kind of things. Is basically pitch shift the piano down six semitones, but then transpose those notes back up so you're you're reaching the same key center. So with this control on, everything sounds a lot deeper, but the the note still remains. A C is still a C, G is still a G, etc. So without, let's just do it on the, on the, yeah, let's do it on the natural to begin with. And then with it on. And let's just do that with the felt samples as well. So this is with off. on and there's no way to achieve that sound you can't do it with EQ or uh, high pass filters or anything like that that's just like that's what piano sounds that's what samples sound like pitch shifted down but then transposing them back up and before you know you can do that with anything you can do that by using the tune but then you've got to come in here and uh, mess around with the uh, transposition of it but it's just so nice just to be able to click it and immediately alter the sound without having to think about it really good uh, untune next which is exactly what it sounds like you are untuning the piano and this isn't just like a pitch shifter just you know gradually taking all of the notes down this is all the notes kind of like going in different directions like a piano sounds like when it's actually going out of tune so if you just put a little bit into the mix kind of 
almost sounds like it's maybe three, four months out of tune. It's not quite audible, but you can hear that there's something a little bit uh, different about it. And then if we bring it all the way up here, you can go crazy with this, but up here is where you really start to sound, hear the sound of it. So you might be saying like, you know, why do you want to untune the piano? Surely you want a, a piano, you know, any instrument to be in tune. But I think for some applications like a horror movie sound effect or some horror movie score or like a sound effect that you need, it's quite good. So all the way up with, uh, this has just got, let's put on, yeah, let's use that one. So like that's why you want a piano to be out of you know out of tune because it can just bring something different uh, to the mix that you that you just need. Uh, so that's the untune control. Uh, these uh, two controls here are quite useful. So front we recorded the piano obviously with the front of the uh, front of the piano off. Uh, so the natural sound is like this. Oh, let's just go back to a default piano. But if you turn it on, this is what it sounds like. Just replicates what the piano sounds like when it's got the, the front back on. Obviously there's a massive great big piece of wood there now in front of the hammers and the strings. So it sounds a lot duller than, than the normal sound. But it's just another way to alter the tone of the piano without EQ or without the felt control. It's just another option really. Uh, perspective is quite good. So we record the piano like with the player position. So the bass notes are on the left and the high notes are on the right, but this flips everything. So high notes are on the left hand speakers and then bass notes are on the right hand speakers. So if you're trying to fit a piano with an orchestral setting where like the basses are on the right hand side of the stereo field, that's quite a good one to put the piano in that perspective as well. Uh, and then the pianist control, which is basically I appreciate this is not for everyone, but it's something we've been we've been working quite hard to get. And it's basically the sound of the pianist sat there in 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 their chair. Uh, so So if I just turn this up a little bit so you can hear the effect of it. You've got intensity and volume separately. And the intensity is basically like how lively and how energetic they're being in their piano stool and volume is basically the overall volume of it. And these you can automate if you want to, if you can, you want to write them into MIDI data and then automate those kind of things you can do. Uh, but it's as realistic as, as we get it to sound. And they're, they're random samples, so you'll never get the same exact same thing twice. Uh, they start when you start playing, they stop immediately. Uh, well, after a couple of seconds, they stop uh, just gradually. Uh, so that like, you know, the, your performance as a pianist would just stop gradually when you stop playing. So that control there is just like really good for those kind of like Olafur Arnold's and Nils Fram sort of like tracks that you want to create where you want to just introduce like, it sounds like you're there with the pianist in the room, uh, you know, listening to the listening to the performance. And that's what that as real as it gets uh, preset that we've loaded is, is all about. Then you've got these uh, piano sounds, which is kind of like the pedal going down, uh, damper coming back up and, and, and hitting the strings again. The string sound, which is kind of like the natural sound when uh, on old piano specifically, when you hit the sustain pedal down, all of the strings start to ring. Uh, so that's basically the, the sound of that happening. Let's just, I'll show you that one because it's not a, not a common one. And without. It's quite a, an authentic sound to like an old piano specifically. And then the hammers is just like the hammers, the, the key releases coming back up again. 
so you can control all of those independently and then you've got this master volume and master power switch to be able to control all of those together so if you've got the ratios of those set nicely but you just want to turn them all up uh, you can do uh, and then we've got these microphone mixer on the side which is with upright felt piano you've got two stereo and one mono microphone with alt piano you've got four stereo channels to to pick from so you've got the close mics let's just go uh, for like a medium blend let's go back to our uh, default and let's just go for yeah like a medium blend here so that's the close mics and let's put on the room mic so these are a little bit further back a bit more naturally spread so then the soundboard microphones and these are two microphones placed on the back of the piano uh, it's quite like a lively sound it's quite it's, it's really good So yeah, like a quite a lively, like bright sound on that microphone channel. And then these ambient microphones, which are placed all the way back in the crypt of the church that we recorded it. And I don't think you'd ever use them that high. I think you'd always put them quite low in the mix. So one of our uh, mixes here is the crypt, which is where it's recorded. So you've got kind of like the microphones in that position. So I like that microphone when you've, 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 you're blending it in just to the point where you can just hear it and not it doesn't take over the whole mix. Let's just go back to our uh, default uh, one again. Uh, you've got mic noise control as well. So if you wanted to introduce some uh, mic noise, you can do and you've got tone control for that as well. So if you just wanted to introduce a bit more realism and a bit more uh, like vintage uh, feel, then you've got that. Uh, standard three band EQ and we set this for the piano specifically so uh, low uh, you can cut uh, your low channel if you if it's too bassy you know what an EQ does I don't need to explain that too much uh, and then this delay control it's really nice having a delay built in to a piano standard uh, as standard so it's either a free control so you can just dial in any sort of like time that you want let's just turn it on so you can hear you know what a delay sounds like as well, but let's just show it. So you can just dial in any time, or if you want it synced uh, to your uh, door, so that we've just we're at 120 beats per minute at the moment. And then you've got these other controls as well to kind of like help you out to get the the right delay sound width control which we always include in our instruments so a purely uh, mono sound let's turn off the reverb so you can really understand what this does so like a mono sound to like wrap around or anywhere in between and then finally the reverbs which are We've curated these to like sound perfectly with the piano. So you've kind of like got these four hall ones from like quite a nice warm hall, which is like the, the one that we always include to some of these more kind of like epic and distant halls. And then these rooms, like small room and no room are my favorites where, let's just turn these up quite a lot to hear that. I know they're like, it's not a reverb, it's like a room reverb if you know what I mean uh, but if you turn them up quite a lot they actually do provide quite a lot of character to the sound and then also like no room is quite a nice one really closed intimate environment And then you've got a couple of weird ones down there as well, like the shower one that we've already gone through, and then a couple of these uh, amp ones as well, which are quite weird. Uh, 
so that's it. That is the sound of alt piano. Hopefully, from this walkthrough, you've got a you know you've got a real understanding that this can achieve like a massive range of sounds. There's a lot of controls to get underneath your fingertips. There's lots of different ways to alter the sound uh, of the piano, and that's you know. With, it's amazing that they all all these sounds come from one piano and I think that's what we're most proud of is that they all sound like it's a cohesive sound whether you want something like small and intimate and like you know Scandi Icelandic sort of inspired uh, soft pianos or whether you want something like big loud like epic and you know like in your face uh, then you've got that as well but it still sounds like it's you know the same family of sounds because it's all from one piano so like yeah that's it if if there's any questions or comments things that I haven't covered or you want to know the answer to drop us a line in the comments and we'll respond as quickly as we can uh, or if there's you know once you get using this uh, piano in your own in, in your own music as always we love to hear your mp3s so send us a send us a link uh, to where we can hear those because it's just it's amazing like what you guys and girls take take with our instruments and do with them in your own music. So we love to hear you know what what happens outside of our little studio and our little world. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>